My name is Michael Skelps. I'm a Navy veteran and I own a small business in Connecticut called Capstone Photography. We focus on uh, large sporting events such as marathons, 5Ks, triathlons, obstacle races. And so we take high quality, high volume photos. And we built a website where people could, of course, find and view those photos and then purchase them. On December 31st, 2013, uh, we were sued for infringement uh, because our website allowed people to search for and locate those photos. So we feel that it was, uh, it was definitely a weak set of patents. In fact, his first patent took six years to get approved. He had to reapply for it after numerous rejections. And on the seventh attempt, his patent was granted. And he went straight to work. We looked back on the blogs and found out that he had gone the very next day, he had gone out to people and started sending demand letters. We were kind of a mom and pop business. And so we uh, do about half a million dollars in revenue a year. So when we realized that we were going to have to uh, start paying for these uh, legal expenses for a process we had created and we were already using, and it was very simple uh, concept to have a website where you could look up photos. So um, we uh, we wound up contracting a uh, an attorney on the West Coast, and he wound up doing a very good job for us. But that whole process cost a hundred thousand dollars, and took ten months. And in the end, we were vindicated because those patents were found. Um, to be ineligible subject matter by a federal judge in California. The current legal system allows bad actors to use the patent system, whether it's for a strong patent or a weak patent, they use that as a tool of financial intimidation. It's not about what's right or wrong. It's financial intimidation against small and medium business owners. And uh, it can be very lucrative. It's a very high reward and very low risk for these, uh, these patent assertion entities or patent trolls, whatever you like to call them. But that opportunity is out there and people are taking that opportunity and making money off that at the expense of small businesses.